What up, what up, what up, double M's? It's, it's your, your boy, Keith. And your girl, Mandy. What it do, what it do? Yeah. We back with the video. We want to talk about marriage. And yeah. why does people, why do people look down on it? Like, oh, you locked down? Or you in a relationship? Yeah. Dang. Why, why you can't have no fun no more. Yeah, why, why, why people always, um, you know, stereotype uh, people that's, or people, friends, family, uh, that's about to get married. Oh, you gonna or be locked down. Or in a committed down. relationship. Yeah. Um, you know, dang man, you ain't gonna be able to do nothing, man. Oh, you better go. You better go ask. Better go ask some before you do. If you ask, that's cause Girl, you been putting it. You um, know he don't let you go no well. Yeah, that's out of consideration. That's out of love. Where you are, if something bad happens, or if I it's like not that. even not You're even not something even bad, that. something, ha you something know what bad I'm happens, just to kind of like let them know where you are, right. so that they can know. Okay, you know, I know my um my husband or my my wife said they want to be going out to dinner with friends. It's two o'clock in the morning. They have made it home. If you had to call the police to how tell them anything, know? how they gonna even know where to look or you know? And even and like I said, even if nothing bad has happened. Just to make sure that your spouse know what's going on. Because we're no longer two, we're now one. Yeah. So I want you to know where I'm at. I want you to know those things. I mean, what I need to keep secrets for, you can be in my business. My business is your business now. So it, it shouldn't even matter. My baby know where I'm at. So with, with people uh, feeling a little uh, some type of way with settling down and things in that nature, hey, at the end of the day, when you get a certain type of age, man, it's 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 just time, and man, cause that look kind of uh, tacky. You know what I'm saying? You you know that, and you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> marriage might not be for everyone. You know, and you, some people have probably already been married before, before and they didn't work and, out, and they're unhappy, and yeah. they weren't happy in their marriage, and they're taking this time to be single again. They're happy by themselves, enjoying their life again, whatever that may be for them, and that's okay too. So because some people not you know don't want to be in a relationship. We talking like that anymore. to the ones that haven't been married, yeah, and then always offering they little hand me down um, <laughs> little opinions. advice and opinions, opinions. Yeah. you know and. Be it as it may, you know, that's your perception. Your, you can have your opinion, but we don't want none. Sorry, no thank you. Yeah. Uh, you know, we good at where we at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I thank the Lord for blessing me. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I, she know what I'm good at. I know what she good at. She know what red <laughs> button to push. To make the world blow up on me, I know what red button to push on her to make, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, what's that? The uh, atomic bomb. John Wick, come on. <laughs> yeah, blow up, <laughs> blow up the world. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying. And and with with all that being said, yeah. you know, there's the blue beautiful moments. Even even the bad moments are a beautiful moment as well when they get worked out appropriately. Right. Because you learn something from it and you know how to move forward. You know, but um, I feel like sometimes when people, you know, down marriage or down you being in a committed relationship, it's because they fear that they won't be able to find someone to be in a committed relationship with or every relationship they've been in thus far has been a fail. They have yet to find someone to commit to them. And so because of that, they give up on the opportunity or the chance of them to have that. And then they, they tend to come around you with the negativity saying, oh, you're going to be locked down. You're going to be able to do nothing. And, you know, and, and they try to discourage you because they're in a situation where they feel like it's not possible for them. Yeah. And that's why it's important to surround yourself around other couples who are happily married or in happily committed relationships. A committed yeah, relationship. It's cool. And wanting things to mm -hmm. be positive and always giving you positive um, feedback, inf yeah. information. Even, um, even if they know the two and things could be 
going in a rocky situation, but giving you encouragement to keep working and keep pushing mm -hmm. forward. Um, you know, go back, talk, and, and um, it can be uh, express out, your love. You, yeah, yeah express you. your love mm -hmm. for one another so you can continue to press forward and be successful in your marriage. Them the type of people that you want to be around you, wanna be around you wanna be around. and want in your circle. You know what I'm saying? Um, and be able to help them out as well when they get into a um, relationship and times start getting rough. Exactly. I have a couple of friends that are married and um, one of my girlfriends, she came up to me and she told me that, you know, um, you know, her husband voiced some concerns to her about, you know, you know, um, her weight. And it was only out of concern because, you know, he loved her. He cared about her. It wasn't like, you know, he was calling her a name or him trying to hurt her feelings or him coming to her sideways. She almost injured herself. And he was like, you know, that, that bothers me. I want you to, you know, be a little bit more healthy because, you know, I, I'm concerned for you. So, you know, when you have somebody who care about you, who got your back, and when she brought that up to me, I immediately let her know he care about you. He love you. You know, if, you, if your spouse can't tell you when you're wrong or when they can't tell you when there's a concern, a valid concern, it is, oh, oh, he shouldn't have said nothing like that. I'm not going to do that because I can't say he was coming from a negative place. First of all, I'm not there. I'm not in that marriage. <laughs> That's number one and number two. And furthermore, I want to see her marriage work. So I'm going to always be saying something encouraging. And I'm not going to be telling her what she wants to hear, but I'm going to be telling my friend what she needs to hear because it's what a good friend does. I'm never going to be the kind of friend that, you know, I'm trying to discourage you from your marriage. I'm trying to discourage you from your husband. That's not my place. Your mm -hmm. marriage is your sacred bond between you and your husband. And you guys said I do before God. That marriage will be you and that man and God or you and that woman and God or however your relationship is with God. But that's how it's supposed to be. Not me. Oh, girl, you need to do this, you need to do that. No. Them kind of people, I stay away from them. I stay away from them. I don't even talk about my marriage with my family. Okay? <laughs> my family don't even get a, a, um, an invite into this. They don't. They just mm -hmm. don't. Even when my mother asks me, how y'all doing? We doing fine? We could have just had an argument. Yeah. <laughs> we doing fine. Because that can be the worst <laughs> worst case scenario, mm -hmm. scenario mm -hmm. is you go to express your opinions or whatever situation that just happened um, um, to with your family. you and your spouse. Mm -hmm. And then you turn around and make up. They don't know you made up. Then you come around uh, them. It's an awkward moment. Because everybody looking at you funny and you, you're looking at them <laughs> or like... Or your family start treating your spouse uh, some, some type, type of, way, of way. And that ain't happening. You that know, ain't happening, Captain. You know, Because like we a, just won't be coming around no more. Like a total... And we, we've, yeah. we've seen it seen it happen as we've been out um, mm -hmm. amongst, you know, other couples and things of that nature. So that really puts you in a... In a, in a, in a weird space where you it's like, oh, okay, that's how I cue stage left. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right, Cause right. nobody really wants to be put in an awkward moment or mm -mm. Uh, be embarrassed. Right. You know, when, right. when other people are around and, and, and things like that are going on. So, you know, you got to re respect the marriage in all, all aspects. So, man, uh, like this sometimes with um your boy Keys here, you know, get on my nerves. <laughs> That's why I get on my nerves in the worst way. And I be wanting to like let him know some things right then and there. But I hold back. You know, I hold back. <laughs> I'll send a text. I'm gonna need to talk to you. Like we were our family or something, I'm gonna need to talk to you. And better, then we get to the car, we get home, I let it <laughs> I let it rip. Better clean, <laughs> better clean it up. Don't play with me. <laughs> don't play with me. Don't play with me. <laughs> he gonna get choked out in this video. <laughs> Y'all about to witness a murder scene. <laughs> no, but for real, I try not to do that kind of stuff in front of family. Like, you gotta have some respect for your spouse because, like I said, this is once again your spouse. You guys are one. We are a married couple, and if I'm embarrassing him, I'm embarrassing myself. 
So no, I'm not going to do that in front of my family or his family. I'm going to do that at home. If there's an issue, we're going to talk about it at home. We're going to talk about it in privacy. In the car, we're on our way home. We can talk on the way home. We can talk in, um, in the house. But our issues or our, our disagreements are not for everybody else. Then it's not. And you're never going to be a part of them. Sorry. I ain't doing it. <laughs> we'll be in that car mad as on no one. But before we get that car, we're going to be like, kissing made up. But guess what? Hey, y'all. That's what it is. <laughs> That's what it is. It's just what it is. Me and Keys don't have no marriage where I can't go have fun. I can't enjoy myself with my friends. I go on lunch dates and stuff all the time and enjoy myself. He might shoot me a text real quick and just say, hey, how you doing? You know, what, you know, are you okay, baby? You know, just want to check on you, make sure you made it there safely, or something like that. And then I go back to having my my lunch or whatever I'm doing and my drink with my friend and conversation and we good. And I come home. Maybe bring him something because he's going to definitely put his order in. <laughs> he going to definitely put his order in. Man, no. Always putting the order Man, in. One, hey, listen mm. up. One thing uh, that I think is wrong is to go somewhere and you you eating something and you don't bring the other person You don't back. need nothing all the time. <laughs> Fix something eating the house. Food in here. Just want something, but I got something. Oh, you want to eat today? I'm going to eat out today, too. <laughs> <laughs> you a big kid, y'all. This my baby. This one ain't had one yet. This my baby right here. <laughs> this my baby. <laughs> this my baby. <laughs> this, this one, that little star get in your eye. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> Supposed to get some. No, you're not. But anyways, <laughs> you know, you know, when you got people that are discouraging you, or you know, you're in a relationship and you know that it's headed toward marriage, and you guys really love each other and really care about each other, you know, this is something that you want to do, and you got somebody in your ear trying to discourage you from marriage for all the wrong reasons. You need to get away from them. You yeah. need to get away from them. Don't let somebody turn your marriage into a plague. Yeah, don't Sick. yeah, yeah, don't Toxic. do that. Yeah, you don't get want a, that. Get, get away from them. See, uh -huh. we we like our marriage like Captain Planet. So <laughs> Captain Planet? <laughs> Where you come up with that from? <laughs> Water. <laughs> Wind. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> Earth. We all over the place then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we shooing that stuff out of there. So it, <laughs> we got a bun. I mean, it, it's almost like what what's some what's some other one that that uh, form and make some or got some what's that uh, Power Rangers Voltron oh my god all of that form one you when are we unstoppable <laughs> you, you can, <laughs> but that has to be a decision that you both make together as a team we our bond is strong because we don't allow anybody from the outside to come in like we can go to we can go around other people. And we can have a good time. Family, friends, strangers don't matter. And have a good time because we know we are one year. You can't be rolling with no people who they secretly envy your relationship. So they trying to get in your husband in and say some things. Or they trying to get in your ear and say some things. Or you got a friend over there plotting, you know, secretly like your wife. All kind of stuff like that. Because I'm going to tell you something. My friend told me a story one time. She told me that she had a, um, she was married to a guy. And there was a lady who came in town from, I believe it was Jamaica. Yeah, from Jamaica. And it's supposed to be like a family friend or whatever. This was supposed to be helping this lady get situated here in America. It sounded like a lifetime. It, it sounded like what I know. And the lady was coming by the house. He had introduced the lady to his wife. So you wouldn't think there was anything wrong. He introduced the lady to his wife. This is my wife. You know, she can help you, whatever. This, that, and the third. She was coming by the house, you know. My friend always keep a nice crib. She's into that interior decorating stuff. She's really good at it. So nice crib, lady coming over, offer lady food, drink, everything. You know, my friend and the man is divorced now. Been divorced some years now. And guess who he's married to? That lady. <laughs> Y'all don't watch people. <laughs> you can introduce me to nobody. <laughs> who, who are you? I'm going FBI, CIA oh. on everything. Oh, and it just done. Woo. 
Yeah, that's a real story. And it is a real I story. I got that old man brain. Yeah, he I forgot about been, who, he oh, forgot about that. Yeah, it's, it's a real story. A real so that, friend of mine so, went through that. Yeah. And then when I think about it, mm -hmm. then I remember watching the show with her. What's that? The the Bratson thing. Mm -hmm. That same thing happened to their mama. Miss Evelyn Bratson. Oh yeah. man, man. When when the, 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 the lady in the church was close friends with them, and then he ended up being with that lady. Oh mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. Slap in the face, man. Mm -hmm. So you gotta you gotta watch the company you keep, and you gotta watch um, the people around you even closer. Sometimes you know you just gotta just know your circle and know everybody, know everything and everybody. Who you? Who you? <laughs> but that was a true story, yeah. and that, and that was that was really sad, and I and I couldn't believe it when she told me that. I was like, what? And this was like in the beginning of me and her friendship. We've been friends for years and years now. But like, you know, she told me like that really, really cut her, you know, cut her mm -hmm. deep. And I'm pretty sure it did. I mean, I mean, what could you expect? You've been, you've been befriending this person. You were introduced to this person by your husband. And now he's married to this person to this day. Like, come on. That's crazy. That's crazy. But um, if you, you know, if you were dealing with somebody or you've been friends with somebody and who's discouraged you from being married or discouraged you from a, a relationship with somebody who you felt was right for you, they had no valid reason to tell you not to be with this person, no valid reason why they felt this person wasn't right for you, hit us up in the comments. Yeah. Smiling in your face. <laughs> all the while trying to take your face. <laughs> Backstabbers. <laughs> Backstabbers. <laughs> They front stabbers too out here. Where they stabbing your chest? They scared. What? They scared. Front, you from the front. Front, <laughs> front stabbers, front side, side stabbers, stabbers. <laughs> over <laughs> the top stabbers, <laughs> in the head, <laughs> underneath stabbers. They get you from all directions now. You better be careful. <laughs> they get you from all directions. <laughs> Double M's. We gonna call it a, call it a night because you hey. know what? <laughs> we be making videos, 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 videos. <laughs> Yeah. I can't even say it right on left. <laughs> yeah, we've been we've been working today. And, uh, oh man, your, your boy, your boy got to get some rest. He got he got that shift tonight. That's right. On the night shift. <laughs> no way. <laughs> y'all, he tired. He started to sing too. You know he can't sing. So y'all know that means sleeping. Oh man, yeah, I got to get some rest. Yeah, you gotta go to sleep. Gotta go to sleep, Papa Bear. All right. We out of here, double M's. Remember, <laughs> positive minds. Build great bodies, but even greater marriages. Boom! <laughs>